back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant. Now I just speak out against paparazzi and the things that they do. So um, I've been batch recording a lot of content and I've been going live. So if you haven't caught me during a live, I usually announce 10 to 15 minutes before I go live that I'm going live. Because um, it's mostly impromptu, unscripted stuff. And I just get on to chat with you guys and have some fun. So, if you're ever online, just check and see if I'm live. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why not? It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You should do it. Anyway, um, I'm going to Hey Girl Hey out on you guys today. So, today we are going to watch... Uh, this is Lisa Abercrombie, and she did a, a training. Um, she was at the Life of the Party trip. We're going to watch this real quick, and... Um, some of the things she says, I've already watched this one. Some of the things she says, bless you, babe, are really telling. So let's get started, okay? Hello, 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 everybody. I'm going to sit down, I think. She's um, missing an earring, too. Where did it go? All right, go? so normally I sell jewelry on often on Monday nights, but I am on a trip right now, and I thought you guys would like to see where I am, just for fun. And then I thought I would show you some of the new jewelry online okay. uh, that I have available. So I hope you guys hop on here and say hi. Um, hi. I know that some of my friends who we usually talk to on here might be available. So Let's everyone see, saying hello. Right here. Maybe I can fix the lighting just a little bit. But hello, you're missing an earring. Sherry and Margaret. Anybody want to say hi, please do. I don't have my normal setup, so I don't, I can't see your comments. I mean, I can see your comments. I hope I can see all of them. There's Christina. Um, I'll just kind of give you guys a, a little status update on what we're doing here. I'm going to speed it up a little this bit. This is the trip, the Black Diamond trip for Las Vegas. Just got here. Well, I got here a couple hours ago. Uh, just taught Jason how to order for me. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I think he's going to do an awesome job. Um, anyway, so... Uh, you know what? From where I live, the flight is only one hour, so it wasn't bad at all. Okay, so she must live in California then, I'm guessing? California or Arizona, because it's only an hour flight. Okay. Um, so I'll tell you guys kind of what we're doing, and then I'll give you a little tour, and I'll show you some of the new jewelry. We'll be on here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, so this is the Black Diamond Trip. Last week, they had the diamond trip. Same thing. They just divide it in half so that there's less people on each trip. So this is the black diamond trip. Last week was just the diamond trip. So I'm, I'm kind of curious. Are the pink diamonds and empire diamonds on this trip too? Because I don't think they had another trip after this. And this is a reward that you can earn in paparazzi for selling a lot of stuff. You know? Correction. This is a reward that you earn from paparazzi for buying a lot of stuff. Here's why I'm saying this. Um, I looked up her, her Shopify Square comment sold store. All right. Um, I'm on her store right now. She has 13,056 in stock items on her store. So I was going through, I had this bracelet when I was a consultant. I'm going through the inventory on her store, and I had those when I was a consultant. I had this when I was a consultant. That's a blockbuster. Everyone has that. These stupid wrappy bracelets were in my starter kit when I was a consultant, so it's old stuff, okay? Um, I'm just going through her store. I had these when I was a consultant. Um... And I'm looking at everything she has. I had Western Wayward when I was a consultant. Western Weather when I was a consultant. So I'm looking at all this stuff that she has on her comment store. Comment sold store. And I'm seeing inventory that has clearly been loaded up on. I mean, there is stuff in here from, I mean, that was a fashion fix or um, a life of the party necklace in 2019. This came out as a life of the party necklace in 2019. And 
you just go page by page. And if you are an active consultant or if you are a former consultant with paparazzi, you will recognize some of this stuff. I had this in my store till the dawn of time. The copper wedding bells, the brass wedding bells. I had the web design. I have it in gunmetal still hanging in my closet right now. Um, I have these tug and pulls. You guys have sent me those tug and pulls. We will, we will rock you. I have, I've, I've had, you know, I'm just page by page by page. I am seeing excess inventory that has clearly, I mean, these right here, Fifth Avenue Fireworks. I had those in my store. There's power to the people or Fifth Avenue A-list or something. But, oh my God, Lisa, you are not a black diamond seller. You're a black diamond buyer. You've got the Timu butterfly earrings, $10 set. So you have to buy the butterfly and get the earrings too because she clearly inventory loaded on those. Uh, Starlet shimmer earrings. Um, there's a lot of stuff in these bundles, okay? She has pages and pages of shit. And that's me being nice about it. Dazzling distraction, I had those. The cork earrings from last year. Katie Porter's earrings that she was wearing in a video a while back. Um, I'm just, I'm blown away. Okay, so she's on the Black Diamond trip. Oh, oh honey, oh, yeah. you paid for this trip. For selling a lot of jewelry. And so when they first announced this, it was like, yeah, right. Is anybody ever going to get that? But this is insane. I don't know how many people were there last week. I'm guessing maybe 75, 80 people. This week, there will probably be 35, 40 people. It's no one's ever going to get there. This is insane. Um, well, you got there. How much debt do you have from getting there? And there's a question from someone named Christina. Can you bring someone with you? No. This is just for you. You can't bring a spouse because that would be way too more expensive for paparazzi. So this is just for you, the front buying customer of paparazzi. It's crazy. It's so cool. Um, you can't bring someone with you. I know. I even, you know, I'm like, can you sneak your husband in to just stay at the hotel for free? No, <laughs> you can't. Um, they've explicitly said so because I, I wonder if anybody's tried. So um, this this reward that we earn is a shopping trip with the... the um, this reward that we paid for, correction, the reward that we paid for. Fashion designers for paparazzi is what they call it. So what they typically do is they pay for our airfare up to $500. And then, and mine was only 250. So I up to $500. So did you get another $250 out of paparazzi? I wonder. I'm going to get 250 extra dollars, which is kind of nice living close by. I could. Okay. She probably took Spirit Airlines. I have even driven and kept more, but I didn't want to drive. <laughs> it's too hard. Um, and then feel free to say hi, guys. I would love to go back and forth and talk to you. Um, anyway, they fly us here and then they pay for our hotel room. Everybody gets their own room, which a lot of people like that. It's a little lonely, but it is kind of nice to have your own room so I can like take a bubble bath or something if I want. And then um, they are going to do meals for us. And we usually eat at a restaurant on one of the meals. They're having the rest catered, so we eat it like, you know, as a group. And then, um, and they do that like in a convention room. And then tonight is the first dinner, and they usually give you swag. And I love swag. And I, if I have, I don't know what we're getting as swag, but if I remember, I'll go live and show you guys maybe tomorrow. I'm sometime. slowing this down. Um, and then tomorrow. We'll be going to the paparazzi headquarters, going to tour the headquarters and get your picture in the pink chair is like the thing, right? That's one of the things. How many asses have sat in that pink chair? Too many to count. And I'm sorry, when you go to corporate and you sit in the paparazzi pink chair, no, it's a flex. Oh, I went to corporate and I got to sit in the throne. Who cares? Who cares? Honestly. We earned. And then um, the following day, we will be doing our shopping spree. If you win the shopping, not win. If you earn the shopping spree. 
If you pay for the shopping spree through inventory loading, you get to go and go on a shopping spree. Paparazzi is so nice to give you a $2,000 rebate if you reach Black Diamond level and spend $48,000, $46,000, $47,000 to reach that level. We give you a little bit of a rebate, but it's not tax-free. And I want to remind everybody, if you are going for the goal of reaching Life of the Party Diamond uh, just so you can do this shopping trip, Please remember, the value of the trip is considered income on your taxes. So the value of the hotel room, the value of your flight, the value of the meals, and the $2,000 paparazzi pays you, that is all considered income that you must claim on your taxes. So when you get a $2,000 deposit into your checking account, um, that's honestly what you should be saving to pay for the taxes for the value on the trip. I'm just, I'm just going to lay that out there. If you don't believe me, contact your tax professional. But it's considered income because paparazzi pays for it on your behalf, but then paparazzi includes it on your 1099. It's $2,000 of free money if it's not free money income, which is frustrating but oh she just said that let's go back at just a just a touch if you win the shopping not win if you earn the shopping spree it's two thousand dollars of free money you have to write it down as income which is frustrating but it... yeah you have to write it down as income you can't you can't call it a rebate it's income that's not fair, but you earned it, right? You earned that income. No, you didn't, but okay. It is, you know, that happens with all prizes in all companies. And if you hit pink diamond or higher, you actually get $4,000, which is crazy and amazing. So I am black diamond level, so I'll be getting $2,000. So if you hit pink diamond, they give you $4,000 as a rebate? Or as a shopping spree? Hmm. Do they give you a better room too? And then we can go shopping at the mall. Now, Yay. the first year I went, it was use it or lose it. We had to buy stuff or lose the money. In fact, I want to say the second year was the same, but we were able to buy stuff online. Now they deposit it into our bank account a couple days before the trip so that we can decide what we want to do with it. Hi, Liz. Yeah, isn't it amazing how, and, and Lisa, you should give credit where credit is due. You should credit Tracy. You should credit Tracy for that. Because she's the one that called paparazzi out on this bullshit practice of use it or lose it. If you earn the shopping spree, if you earn the $2,000 as a bonus, you should be able to keep the $2,000 as a bonus. It shouldn't be put on a debit card for you to go to the mall and use it or lose it. And if you don't use it up within uh, the time allotted, you have to give whatever's on that prepaid debit card back. Honestly, Tracy Reed called the bullshit out. She did. And because of that, paparazzi changed the way they do this trip. Now they just deposit the $2,000 into your, your checking account so you can determine what you want to do with it. And here's the other thing. Paparazzi doesn't dictate what you spend the money on. You get to choose. So again, thank you, Tracy Reed, for what you did there. I think credit needs to go where credit is due. So this Black Di Diamond Life of the Party trip, thank you. And you guys need to give credit where credit is due. None of you do. Instead, you just say she's bitter and she's a hater. No, she's not. She made a lot of changes with the paparazzi culture. Some of them you don't like. Some of them you do. You're benefiting from one of the things that she advocated for, and you're benefiting from it. So there you go. I know. Hi, Sherry. I know you guys asked me to go live, and I'm like, I can do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you my hotel room because it's fun. Happy to answer any questions. 
we I just got here today, so I don't have a whole lot of details yet. Okay, we're going to speed it up um, a little but bit. But I have been on this trip before. I believe this is my fifth time coming. Um, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. Hi, Tiana. Ah, I'm glad you guys are here. So I'm going to show you around just for fun and show you a few things. If you have questions, ask me. And then I'm going to show you some of the new jewelry that came out today uh, and refer you to my app or my VIP group because that's where you can buy it. But pretty cute stuff. All right. Yeah, so, so cute. here we go. I have, um, this is just like last year's hotel. This is a really nice place. This is the Venetian is where I'm at. Um, but you walk in. So it's the door's just ring. like the Palazzo too. Exactly. Same thing. Big Look, it's a hallway. No one is so cute and so fine. Yeah, so anyway, this is the room. This is the bathroom. It's like super fancy. There's me. Hello. There's a cute little makeup station. I'm totally going to sit here and do my makeup in like an hour because I didn't wear a lot of makeup to the airplane. Better um, find your earring too. A nice too. fancy shower and a nice bathtub with a TV. Okay, I will say this. I like um, I like the 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 shower stuff, the toiletries. In that little box on the vanity is like Q-tips and cotton wipes and a bunch of you know nice things that like nail file and stuff and a sewing kit. Um, they use white tea. Uh, and floral uh, soaps so it's really refreshing it's very spa like but I love the soaker tub and I love the stand-up shower and I love that the water closet has a door that you can shut so which I like the bathrooms cool, and the TV is home. nice because you can but watch it from the and then tub this fancy marbly gold bathroom so that's the bathroom Ooh, it's so pretty cute. and fancy so and then this is the hotel room and it's actually got a living room down here, which is super cool. So this is a king size bed. I get to sprawl out. Don't have to share with anybody. And there's a TV right here and this dresser. And here's my backpack. I actually got this on my first leadership trip. Yay. This is, this is the best backpack ever. It's a, an Under Armour backpack. It's very sturdy and awesome. Back when there were fewer elites and paparazzi could actually spend money on the elites. Now you get uh, the same Timu crap that everyone else gets because they grew so much that the quality of your prizes has gone down. Just pointing that out. In fact, when we had this backpack, I'm going to tell you guys this just really quick. This is pretty neat. They gave us that the first year I went to leadership. There were, I, I want to say there were 18 of us and our spouse. Most of us had our spouse there. And we went on a scavenger hunt. So there were only 18 elites back then. 18. Out of how many hundreds of thousands of women, there were only 18. Yeah. 99.56 of the people in the company don't make it to those levels. She just pointed that one out and made that truth a reality. Around Las Vegas. Like we walked and we had to find a list of stuff and we posted it on Instagram. It was crazy and fun. I don't know if those accounts are there anymore. But, oh my gosh, I'd never watched so much in my whole life. They haven't ever done anything like that since, but it was a really cool experience. They haven't done anything like that since because probably pissed off a lot of people. And uh, they were like, mm, I would rather spend my time shopping or just enjoying the sights without doing your stupid scavenger hunt. Now at convention, you get the little convention book and you have a place to go and visit a certain table to get a stamp in your book. And if you complete all the things in your book at convention, you get swag. It's very similar and sick. Hi, Tammy and Janet. Hi, ladies. Okay, so that's where I got this. But this is my backpack full of my, you know, stuff that I put on the airplane, like my chargers and my laptop and stuff. This, I want to just tell you about this suitcase. This suitcase actually was given to me. Um, where's the front? This is a really nice suitcase. It's that hard kind. This was given to me. Maybe you guys can see it. It says Life of the Party. Oh, and life this was given on one of the life, life of the Party trips, just like I'm on right now, as the swag bag. They gave us a whole suitcase another year. This is from another year. Ooh, a carry-on suitcase. Okay, it's a hard carry-on suitcase. Branded by paparazzi. So let's go to eBags. <sighs> let's go to eBags.com. Okay, let's go look for luggage at eBags.com. Uh, let's go to category, uh, carry on and let's go to features. We want it to, oh, let's just do a hard spinner carry on case. So they range from a whole bunch of different prizes okay, or prices. Okay. 
So I don't know if that was a spinner one or what. So category, let's go to price. Because we know paparazzi's not going to spend that kind of money. <clears throat> so, oh, look. Featured. The cheapest one is $97.49. Wow. Freeform carry-on spinner. Okay, great. That's with e-bags. But if you go to Timu, I'm pretty sure you can find it for a lot cheaper there. But ooh, ooh, ah, a suitcase. That was the swag. But I've been using it ever since. This is a um, like a carry-on size suitcase. It's amazing. I love it. Um, and then, so here's the room. And then we have this cute little unnecessary railing to make a separation into the living room. I have my socks on. I don't... It's not unnecessary. It's decorative. And it's nice to have a safety railing for a sunken living room. It's not unnecessary. It's kind of there for safety features. I want to slip. And then we have two men and a kid or whatever it's called. TV show on mute. Don't touch those. If you move them, they will make you pay like 15 bucks per water. So don't touch them because they have a sensor under them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here's this. I wonder if there's a fridge. I bet this is a fridge. It's called a mini bar for a reason. Yeah, a fridge with stuff you have to pay for. But there's a table. I just discovered the couch and I've been sitting on it and it's so cozy. And there's my little setup because I was helping Jason learn how to order. And then it has a desk right here and the view. So let's look at the view. I haven't tried to open the curtains yet. We'll just peek through right here. I'm only on the fifth floor. Oh, look, she oh, overlooks the, the casino. You guys see that? That is, I'm really close <laughs> to that sphere. Um, that thing is pretty crazy. Maybe I can go live at night and show you guys. Um, I could see it from MGM last month. Um, that is super close. That thing, there's pictures on it now, but you can't really see it, I think. But it's not dark enough. And then apparently we have all of the rooftop of the casinos or something. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> do you guys have any questions or anything? So there's not a whole lot to show like a convention, but. So I find this very funny and interesting. So all the paparazzi elites, the highest level they get is maybe fifth floor. They don't get a view of the strip. They get a view of a wall or the overlooking of the casino and the mall. And you you don't get a view of the strip from your room. You get the, the sphere. Ooh, ooh, ah. But isn't that interesting and telling? But it's pretty exciting. And I wanted to say hi. Sometimes it's fun to like, I mean, I'm alone. I'm like super alone. <laughs> so I usually come on and talk to you guys this time of day. Um, I'll, I should, let's see. Friday night, when I, sorry, Thursday night, when I come home, I won't have time to go live. So I will be live on Friday. I was looking at my flight and it's too crazy. So I'll go live on Friday and we'll see how it goes. That way I can make up for the time that I'm missing here. So um, I'd be happy to answer questions if you guys have any. I'm going to flip my camera and show you guys the, some of the pieces that came out today. Um, we didn't get our swag yet. So dinner is at seven o'clock, which is in two hours from now. And they'll probably give us swag at that time. Um, they usually give us something. I love something. I don't even care what it is, but I love branded stuff. It makes me feel like I earned it. Um, this is the... Okay, let's go back. We didn't get our swag yet. So dinner is at 7 o'clock, which is in two hours two from hours. now. And they'll probably give us swag at that time. Um, they usually give us something. I love something. I don't even care what it is, but I love branded stuff. It makes me feel like I earned it. I love branded stuff. It makes me feel like I earned it. Instead of, I love branded stuff. I love that I earned it. It made me feel like I earned it. She's telling, the quiet part's been said out loud. She paid for the branded stuff. She paid for the schwack. She paid for it through inventory loading. So she feels like she earned it, but really she paid for it and she just admitted it. So she feels like she earned it. Um, this is the Venetian. We're going to speed it back up again. So I guess there's another hotel called the Palazzo, which is where we usually stay, but it looks exactly the same. So I don't understand why they're different. Um, but this is the Venetian where we are. Have I seen the October fashion fix? No. Have you? I haven't heard of it being out yet. Um, I've seen it. It's ugly and atrocious. What came out today? Let's see here. I'm gonna pull up the correct screen. Um, so if if any of you guys want to snag some of these pieces before anybody else, this is what I do every day. When new jewelry comes out, I buy some and then I post it for sale. And you can actually claim it before I show it on video. And there's some really, really, really cute pieces. 
So I'm going to show you what this... Am I missing an earring? Oh, no. i got to find it. Thank you for telling me. It's probably in this room somewhere. Because <laughs> I felt it earlier. So it's probably in here somewhere. Uh, I'm glad you said something. Okay. So let me switch this for you guys and show you. This is what the back of my Shopify website looks like. Um, it has orders, products. In fact, orders is probably wrong because we shipped a whole bunch today. So if I refresh it, eight. So we shipped all the orders, almost all the orders today. And then um, this is all the other information. And these are the products. And so I can click right here. And then I can choose created, newest first. And this is going to show what came out today. Okay, a whole bunch of cute stuff. Let me see if I can zoom in or if I need to open it. Yeah, those aren't very good pictures. So let me show you a couple things that came out today. And if you guys are interested in buying them, all you need to do is click on my link tree. And you can go to the one that says get first dibs and join my Facebook group. That's one way. Or you can, you can get my app. My app is actually a good experience. I think you guys are going to like it. Okay, so here's the first one. I think that one is super cute. This actually came out in pink already. And everybody went bananas over it. And so this is a fun one. This is a bunch of stretchies. And so you can actually separate it. See, these top two don't even have blue. And then the bottom two don't even have orange. And so it's almost like two different designs in one. And then you can um, mix and match with the outfits that they match. So that's a pretty cool one because it's two in one. So that's available. If you guys have questions, just let me know. I think it's really fun to show you guys stuff. This one came out today. This has come out in other colors. And this time it's in white diamonds. Here's a close up. Let me see if I can make that look better. There it is. A cute stretchy rhinestone bracelet this one came out today i love these i don't know about you guys i think they're so so cute i actually have these in a neon green here's the name lightning limit so if you want to get green instead or if you want both you would search lightning limit so you can find it and then these will be on top in the newest listing on everywhere because they just came out today okay and i'll show you guys how to find these things if you don't know how um another one that came out today is this set so you guys saw this come out in multicolor, and look, it's not very big. It came out in red and white, and look how small her earrings are. Her tiny little flowers are so cute. So we have this okay. little flower necklace. So she's showing the stuff that she went into her back office and bought during new releases time uh, that day. Now, granted, this was a couple of weeks ago. So I'm I'm currently looking on the website, and on her her Shopify store okay so she just showed this it's still available she showed this it's still available this honestly looks like uh, an avocado in yellow and pink um, the earrings still available the bracelet still available that thing is ridiculously dumb okay but she's showing all this stuff and again, 1,356 items on her Shopify store. That's a lot of inventory, you guys, and it blows my mind. Okay, so there's a comment that a certain anti MLMing YouTube content creator who speaks in Espanol, Denise Lopez, um, I'm just noticing this, um, she, she made a comment at 14 minutes, 10 seconds. Okay. Keep the lies, you know. You earn that rank because you're inventory loading by purchasing over 20K accessories. Maybe you sold a couple of them, but the rest is in your enormous inventory. So true. So before you say half true things um, and your commissions are from your downline purchasing, you get their money from them. So another thing, you claim the gift, you get 2K, but in reality, you've lost over $43,000 in the year just to get the rank of Life of the Party Diamond, and that is true. Stop misleading people to join this pyramid scheme, and then someone left a, oh! It's like when um, you're at the casino, mm -hmm. and someone's like, I just won $500, and then you talk to them for a few minutes, and they're like, yeah, but you fed like two thousand dollars into the machine. Yeah, but I got five hundred. You ain't one shit, lady. <laughs> You're running a deficit. <laughs> so good job, Denise, on that comment. Let's keep going. It's red and white, and then it actually matches a bracelet. Looks like this. So that's a cute set. Hi, Camelia. So that came out today. If you guys want to claim it, you can totally go. Okay, the next comment. I don't understand. Y'all of a sudden didn't have my address when I was hoping it wasn't a scam. Oh, okay. Hop in. I can tell you that nothing's sold out yet, but they probably will. Um, there's a couple that are 
close that I didn't guess enough of. And guess what? She still has all of this stuff on her website right now. So it's like, she's like, I, I guessed. I didn't know how much was going to still be available. But when you look, um, you look at what's on her website. Oh, let's go to the next page. Ooh, ooh, ah. You look at all the stuff she has available on her website. Ooh, ooh, ah. And guess what? She still has a ton of inventory. Ridiculously stupid inventory. And here's the other thing. She has some of the new releases that I haven't seen in the last little bit because, one, I haven't been on because I don't care about the fear of missing out and I don't care about what they drop. But you see a uh, man's best friend. It's a necklace with a paw print. It looks cheap and ridiculous. And then we have oil slicky stretchy bracelets in the butterfly bolo and then the mud flap earrings. And then we have the rope and rodeo in black. And there's just a bunch of stuff sitting on her web store that she bought at new releases time that her customers haven't picked up. And I'm guessing she hasn't sold it all to her downline yet. But we've got the gummy bear butterflies. We've got the crochet thing. We've got the stupid charmies. And it just blows my mind how much inventory this woman has. I mean, she has all the initials, she has, it just, I'm just blown away by how much she has. And maybe a few pieces that she buys sells out. Maybe she underestimates how much is going to sell or how much isn't going to sell. But when you look at what's going on on this website and you look at what's going on with the amount of inventory she has, wow, okay, just Wow. And I mean, I'm just sitting here just, I, my mind is boggled. But yet she's showing, yeah, I underestimate Everything these. Else, so like I said, I got plenty of, this is a nice little, to me that looks like a shell or something, but it's gold. This gold earring came out today. Um, I want to show you this set here. Uh, where is it? This one. This came out today. This is a new design. And I think it's really super duper cute. It looks cheap. This? And these are little beads that look like natural stone. Okay, if you guys recognize this look, it's kind of... It looks like natural stone, but it's not natural stone. Okay, now we have another comment that just posted. I'm seeing the new stuff, and I don't think it's cute. Why would anyone wear this Day Glow Highlighter Color Charmy Earrings. Someone must be watching my channel. But they are ridiculous. I am sorry, but paparazzi is no longer appealing. It looks cheaper and cheaper. Nothing is selling out because it's overpriced. You have a lot of inventory on your website. Yeah, first um, Like it's not totally see-through because it's supposed to look like stones. So it's got five little hearts. Oh, look, they're silver hearts too. Oh, look. Well, that's cute. So there's silver and colored hearts. So this is a multicolor kind of a rainbow design. And then there's a matching bracelet. You can Aww. see the bracelet here. So both of these are listed in today's new releases. They're so cute. For sale. Okay. Um, this one came out today. I think this is a really pretty, whoops, I went to the wrong screen. I think this is a really pretty blue. You guys tell me if you like it. All right, so I'm just seeing something here. So on average, um, I'm going back to her little screenshot so she has zero in stock, okay. but you see that number six all the way down? So she buys in quantities of six. Quantities of six for each piece. So if you, if you look at all the stuff that she has on her website right now, okay, and I'm just going to split the difference here. She has, and I'm just going to do some math, and yeah, I'm recording this at the end of the day, so there's a lot of traffic outside. So she has 1,356 items in her web store right now, okay? And she buys six of each piece, so I'm going to say on average she has three of each piece. That's how much inventory she has, give or take, in her web store right now. Okay, now let's multiply that by $2 and 
and 75 cents. That would pay off my house. And it would take me on a trip. And that doesn't include tax or shipping. Okay? So, yeah, that's insane. And that's with me being generous and saying she only has three of each piece instead of six of each piece. Um, this one came out today. I think this is a really pretty, whoops, I went to the wrong screen. I think this is a really pretty blue. You guys tell me if you like it. No, Lois, nope, nope, it's fine. It had to do with your zip code and I fixed it on your account. It's, it's, uh, it's okay. So this really pretty blue, it's supposed to look like a natural stone, I think. Yeah, a lapis stone, or lapis, I don't know how to say it. But this long, pretty blue necklace came out today. And that's the thing that kills me about paparazzi jewelry and accessories. They claim that it's lapis amethyst jade, and then you, you take a hammer to it, and it doesn't break like natural stone. It breaks like plastic. I mean, I've got natural amethyst and lapis sitting here on my desk right now. This is lapis, okay? It's got a metallic sheen to it. This is raw lapis, okay? Then I've got natural amethyst, okay? And then I've got natural polished rose quartz. Natural polished citrine and then I have a natural tiger's eye try to take a hammer to those they don't shatter and if they do they turn into dust they don't break into a million little pieces that look like plastic uh, what else came out today this oh I think this one is beautiful this has that glassy look okay. and she still has that on her web store I think that's so pretty it's so, so, so pretty. They call that glassy, so glassy blue. And look, it's not very big, like on this lady. So that came out. Okay, hold your horses, ready for this one? This is cute, look at this. That, didn't that is so sell much fun. Either. That red peace sign necklace, and look, there's a heart. I noticed this little heart, and I think this one up here is a heart. It's so cute. So that it's so cute, and it's so All right. fun. I had to come by the window to be a human antenna. <laughs> If it messes up again, I'll hook up to the Wi-Fi, but we'll try this again. But she doesn't want to pay for the Wi-Fi. It's expensive. I do want to show you a few more pieces. Okay. Um, what else do we have? I mean, there's a bunch that came out. We have this shark tooth necklace. This is a fun... Um, That's still in the back thing. office right now. This is an urban piece. This came out in white, too. I just think it's pretty cool looking. So you can decide if that's something you like. Especially for Christmas. You can start getting Christmas presents now. It's totally allowed. Uh, yeah, start buying your Christmas stocking stuffers with me now. It's totally allowed. I need you to start buying from me now. It's totally allowed. Ugh. By the way, she's live right now. We'll switch over to that in a second. Um, these came out. I think these are really, really, really cute. And they came out in another color, but I didn't buy enough. And so now I bought more in this color and they're so cute i wear my daisy earrings and every time i wear them people are like i want to buy those and i don't have any more of the design that i have so these are just as cute and they're just as cute and guess what they're still available on her website right now so if you want them you can go hit up her hotsy totsy boutique and you can get that stupid peace sign or the glassy stone everything she's showing right now you guys she still has in her web store everything. They are silver. They kind of look white on camera, but they're silver with those little colors in the middle. Okay. Um, these came out today. I think they're really pretty. Do you guys like those? No, I think those they're dumb. Um, Lisa, I'm at the Venetian, the Venetian Hotel. Okay, what else can I show you? This ring came out. This is a pretty neat. Oh, this ring here. Here's look a version on her hand. So it's a little bit wide because of those little sparkle designs, but I love it. I love that uh, marbling in the middle. It's very, very cool. Mm, sure it is. And let's see. This came out. 
This is a gunmetal. Beat it up, you guys. Uh, cuff, a gunmetal cuff that came out today. This is an old school style. Paparazzi used to have more like this. You're you got to wonder if she's saying this is an old school style and paparazzi used to have this in the past. What if they found a bunch in the warehouse, gave it a new name, and re-released it as new? you got to wonder. Years and years ago. So they haven't had anything like this for a while that I remember. Um, That's what I'm guessing. Also, it's a recycled old a piece. fuchsia ring. So it's cute. It's really pretty. Look at that. So fun. It's super duper pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty. Um, not yet. So I was saying earlier that they will probably give us swag, but we won't get it until we go to dinner tonight, which is in two hours. Yeah, you got to wait for everyone um, else to show up. Oh, one more. I want to show check you in. one more piece that came out today. This is a choker, and it is so pretty. It's so feminine. I would totally layer this with another necklace and wear big earrings. And in the album, I did that. I added some a gold necklace and some big earrings that you can match with it. So that came out today too. I bet she sold so if that. If you guys out. are interested in looking at that stuff, you can get my app. And then I have a folder called New Arrivals, and it's listed in reverse order. So the newest stuff is at the top. And then if you want to go to my VIP group instead, it looks like this. <clears throat> this is today's album. I guess I could have just come here <laughs> to show today's album. In fact, these earrings are not new but I highlighted in, in today's album. Same with these butterfly wing earrings, highlighted today. These are highlighted today. I picked pieces that would match the jewelry that came out. This would match the peace necklace, I think. This would match your heart necklace. There's so many cute things. What else? This came out, I'm not, didn't come out. I have this and just wanted to re-show it because look at that earring. That's How many? Of that necklace, do you think she bought? Because it was an Empire or Black Diamond or Pink Diamond bring back piece. And it's a blockbuster in gunmetal and oil slick. So my guess is she probably has 50 or more of those. That's the free earring that comes with that necklace. Um, this has a blue stone on it that would match the blue stone necklace. This has a flower on it that would match your flower earrings. Bloom where you're planted. Um, this would match the red and white flower necklace. This would match your heart necklace too. So I pick out stuff that would match. I mean, look, this would match your daisy earrings. Cute, cute stuff. I forgot to pick out something to match that, but I'm sure we've got something. That's a cool picture right there. Okay, well that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for listening. Um, I, so, if I have time, I will go live and show you the swag we get because they always give us something. It's part of the prize. And so I'll try to show you guys what I got. Um, see, we'll see. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy anything on my shopping trip or not. Like, I don't know if I have currently, I don't really have. You should honestly use it to pay off the debt you have from all the inventory you loaded up on. That's just my thoughts. So that's what I'm just thinking. So, um, she's apparently live right now and she's doing a fashion fix giveaway. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Because nobody wants the fashion fix from October. It's atrocious. So, I thought this was funny. Um, her album that she, and Ellie's eating her dinner, but this album... Um, Pre-order promise. Multiples available. First come, first serve. Comment sold. Um, I still have that from when I was a consultant. I'm pretty sure every former consultant has this. And the Karen earrings that Savannah Marie donned in one of her videos. Um, I'm pretty sure all of us have the fringy pieces. The glittery barrettes. I have those on my nightstand right now. Uh, no, no. But I find it really funny that she's going through and posting older inventory in with the new stuff that dropped. Some of these pieces are from years ago. Some of them are from six months ago. Some of them are from today. But this is today's album, you guys. But it's really 
really interesting that she marries older pieces in with newer pieces. And I just look at what is going on. I didn't even see that dragonfly thing today. So she's got a lot of stuff on her website. She's got a lot of stuff. Stuff that I've even missed. But it's really interesting that, bless you, it's really interesting how these albums have stuff from when I was a consultant. Here's the next album. I had that when I was a consultant. Patina piece from like a year ago. I have that in my bathroom right now. I wore it two days ago. Um, oh God. I'm just, I'm going through these albums and I'm seeing stuff from when I was an active consultant. So I'm guessing the comment uh, that Denise made uh, either got to her or she's been doing this for a while. I'm not sure. But I look at the stuff she has. And I look at the quality of paparazzi jewelry and I'm just, I'm, I'm appalled. I, I see this stuff and I'm like, I don't see the appeal anymore. I mean, there are a few pieces that I think are cute here and there, but I do not see the mass appeal for this stuff. And what's also interesting is when I look at the stuff that's coming out now, and I read the stuff that you guys have sent my way, people are complaining about the chains digging into their neck because they're not closed all the way. And just like with that stupid blockbuster piece that's sitting here while I was wearing it, it started stabbing me in the neck. Yeah. So here's the fashion fix. She's showing off the October fashion fix, and we know how gorgeous that is. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to my members. Thank you so much for making it through this 45-minute video plus. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, all the good things. Denise, thank you for your bravery and calling them out. I think you're amazing. If you haven't subscribed to Denise Lopez's channel, it's all in Spanish. She is a new anti-MLMer on the scene, so please um, look her up. I'll leave a description of her in the video down below. But yeah, let's continue to fight the fight. We're making an impact. Slowly but surely, people are starting to walk away from paparazzi jewelry and accessories. Slowly but surely, people are starting to see that the jewelry is just the same old recycled shit. And people are starting to realize that it's cheaper and cheaper as time goes on. We can spend our money in better places and get better quality jewelry for less. Thank you for being here. Have a great day. Bye.